This morning, I am joined by Chris Acey from Winnebago Waterways. How are you this morning? I'm doing very well. Glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. So tell us, it's been a while since we caught up, but tell us what type of projects have the Invasive Aquatic, the invasive aquatic Project been working on? Absolutely, yeah. So at Fox Wolf Watershed Alliance, mm -hmm. uh, doing a lot of different projects, mm -hmm. uh, including aquatic invasive species projects. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready for the summer season, hiring on some interns to be at boat launches to talk mm -hmm. to people about invasive species. Mm -hmm. But we also have larger watershed projects. We have a, a big cleanup, over 50 1,500 volunteers are joining us this coming Saturday to help pick up trash all throughout the Fox Wolf Basin. And that's so important because fishing season is upon us. So I know you guys have been working on some things. So tell us a little bit about the Purple Strife Project. Absolutely, yeah. So this Purple Loose Strife Project, mm -hmm. um, there's an invasive wetland plant called Purple Loose Strife. It has really pretty purple flowers, but it's really, really aggressive and pushes out a lot of our native mm -hmm. species. So we're trying to get a control on this species in areas like this where there's just a few plants before it gets a real big, strong uh, push into our wetlands. Yes, so how, can, how are you guys going about handling that? Because I know it can be get aggressive. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So we partner with the Wisconsin DNR and UW Extension, and they have this project where we're putting a, a biocontrol, a biological control species of beetle out on these plants. Mm -hmm. So this, this beetle only eats purple loose strife, mm -hmm. and so we put it out in these wetlands, it controls some of these plants and just makes it so our native plants can outcompete these invasive species. Mm -hmm. And how important is that for you guys to keep that up? Really, really important. And a lot of places across the state, you can look out across some of our wetlands, and it's just a field of this purple loose stuff that's really just taken over. Um, so we're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen in some of these early places, like right here in Taichita. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Chris. Lots of great information there. Doing what they can to keep our environment amazing, which they do <laughs> live in Taichita. Faith Alford, Local 5 This Morning.